In this video, I am going to show you how to set up and run Geotech Surf Data Monitor software. Insert the CD in the CD drive. The autoplay will direct you to the CD drive root. Move to the Software folder and select the surfdminstaller.msi to launch the setup wizard. Follow the instructions in the wizard to install the Surf Data Monitor onto your PC. When the software is installed on your PC, a desktop icon will be created. Double click on Surf DM icon to launch the Surf Data Monitor software. If the device is not connected properly or if the device is switched off, a message will appear on the screen. Check the USB connection and make sure that the device is properly turned on. Then click on the Refresh button to proceed. In the top menu bar, click on New, then click on New Project to start a new project. Fill in the necessary information about the test samples, including the source of samples and operator notes. From the drop-down menu in the lower section of the form, select the appropriate test method. Let's begin with the AASHTO test procedure. To start, click on OK. The AASHTO form has three main sections. The test parameters and controls are located at the top, and the results in real time in the tabulated format will be displayed in the lower part of the form. Use test settings to change the sample size or to change the curing regime. Select the sample you want to test and click on Run to start logging the measurements. The real-time measurements from each set of channels will be displayed in the middle part of the form. The measurements for each channel are performed in two rounds. The results of each channel will be logged in tabulated format in the lower part of the form. When the test on the first sample is finished, remove the sample from the sample holder and place the second sample. Follow the same procedure to perform the test on the second and third samples. A total of 24 measurements will be taken for the three samples. If you want to repeat the test on any of these samples, Place the sample in the sample holder, select the sample name from the list, and click on Run. A message will appear on the screen to ask for overwrite permission. Click on the Save icon to save the test results. Two files will be generated, CSV format and PDF format. You can clear the tables and delete the measurements by clicking on the Reset icon. This will remove previously saved values. To perform a test according to the ASTM draft, select the new project from the new menu item. In a similar way, fill in the required information. From the drop-down menu, select the ASTM test method, then click OK. This will launch the ASTM test form. The test form is very similar to the AASHTO test, except for the test parameters. The user can select the sample size and the electrode spacing. When you are ready, click on Run to start the test. When the test is completed, the results will appear in the table at the lower part of the form. The user can control the test through menu items in the control menu. For example, to save the test results, click on Controls and then Save to store the test measurements. The test report 
compatible with the guidelines of the ASTM draft will be generated along with a CSV file. The user can perform a test in the custom mode. From the top menu, select New and then New Project. Proceed to fill in the project information. Then, from the drop down menu, select the custom mode. The custom mode enables the user to change the signal frequency to a value of between 13 Hz to 100 Hz. The user can also choose the interval of the measurements. When you are ready, select the active channels by checking the box next to the channel's name. The remaining channels will not work during the test. Click on Run to start a test. Resistance values will be displayed in real time, and the data will be stored in tabulated format at the lower part of the screen. The user can select to monitor the measurement variations in a chart format. Click on Chart icon to open the Live View chart. When the test is finished, click on Stop, then Save the test results. The results will be saved in .csv format. The The user can upgrade the firmware of the surf device when an update is available. From the Tools menu, click on Firmware Upgrade to begin. If the device is not in the Firmware Upgrade mode, a message will appear on the screen. Turn off the device and turn back on in the Firmware Upgrade mode. To do so, hold the Up key and press the Power key. The Firmware Upgrade page then will appear on the screen. The serial number and the description of the device will be shown in the lower left corner of the page. Select the .hex and .eep upgrades files provided by Geotech. When you are ready, click on Upgrade in order to upgrade your device. When the upgrade is finished, you can close the form. The user can also verify the accuracy of the device using the two low and high resistance dongles. Open the verification form from the main menu under Tools menu item. Each channel should be verified for low and high range resistance. Start with connecting the low resistance dongle to the channel 1. Press Run to verify the channel. Continue the same for all channels. Then use the high resistance dongle and start over from channel 1 to 4. The results of the verification will be displayed in front of each channel. If 
you need further assistance with Geotech Surf Data Monitor software, please contact our technical support department. Thank you for watching this video.